Hi guys, uh, Francois here from Snakes of Namibia. Um, so today we have a puff header which we removed uh, from a complex in Bintuk. Now, you know, when it comes to handling these snakes, uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there. I usually see guys trying to grab them by the tail or uh, trying to grab them behind the head. Now, both of these methods are not the safest ways of, of handling these snakes. Now, the reason, you know, why we never encourage people to grab snakes behind the head is because it increases the chance of you being bitten by probably over 80%. And especially if you don't know what you're doing, you are going to end up with a bite, unfortunately. Now, one thing that... Um, one thing with the puffers are that they have these incredibly long hinged fangs which basically means they're able to pull them up into the roof of the mouth and in most cases when people grab them behind the head they don't have a, a proper grip on them sometimes the snakes can even turn out of the grip and bite people or even in some cases what has happened is uh, the positioning of the, the person's fingers wasn't correct um, and you know they can get bitten through the bottom lip of the snake or the snakes can just stick out their fangs out of the side and, and get you um, and I've seen a couple of cases where this has actually happened. And the reason why we don't encourage tailing is because puffers are these really short, stocky snakes. And usually what happens then is they, because they're so short, they can turn around, you know, in a flash and they can actually get to your hands. And even if you have them on a hook, in some cases handlers have been bitten with the snake just all of a sudden without warning just turns around and gets to you. Um, and this is why we prefer using the double hooking method and what we prefer using for restraining snakes is this clear acrylic tube. Now um, the idea is to get the snake to go into the tube um, then we can just safely restrain it and we can collect all of the, uh, the necessary data um, and I think you know this is also far less stressful for me um, and it's also far less stressful for so we're quickly going to take them out. We haven't collected data on, on this individual just yet. And then hopefully, um, you know, we can just do it in a, in a safe manner. And also what we prefer using for uh, transporting snakes are these PVC tubes. Um, it makes your life so much simpler when you have to handle them. And it's, it's a much safer method as well. Just to loosen this thing up. gently try and pick pick her up as you can see it's just a really safe method no touching the snake probably feels uh, much less threatened by it um, the challenge now is to get it to go into, into the tube there we go and we have our snake safely restrained you can see you know the snake can't turn around in the tube and now we can safely collect our data and we can just release her excellent